Well, we're at Birdsville, one kilometer out from the Big Red Bash. Enjoy this episode. got a 14 strong convoy this morning and uh, we got up at uh, Sparrows Far and uh, left at sunrise. The sun's still coming up right now. Heading out to the bash where we'll get in a queue and wait for a few hours. Sounds like fun. Can't wait. Good morning. We are one kilometre from the gates of the big red bash. This is the landscape, and behind us here is the road. And here is our Stony Creek Convoy of 14. It's not a pure convoy of 14 because we've got three non Stony Creekers, actually, four non Stony Creekers. So we've got 10 Stony Creek vans in our convoy. Where are we, Michelle? We are at Birds of Big Red Bash. At the Big Red Bash. Flag We've got the flag flying. Just quietly, we've got Wi-Fi and nobody else has. Shh, don't tell anyone the password. And uh, TV, of course. And it's our campsite. We got a cricket pitch, more or less. There's um, our crew up there, all the stonies. How many vans do you think are here, Michelle? Few. Just I don't a few. know. Tell you what, you know, you reckon you could be walking around all day, and uh, you won't cover it. It's just too many, too much, and uh, trying to find. Just one van. It's like a needle in a haystack. There's all the uh, MDCs down there. There's 70 of them all camped up down here. Because their uh, dealer organises things like that. Um, and we're going to encourage uh, ours to do something similar. Um, I know they're keen. They've just been very busy. Hopefully next year we'll have uh, a much bigger group. Isn't that right, Michelle? Yeah. Bigger group next year. Yeah. All right, day one, oh, well, evening, afternoon. What time is it, about 5.30? And uh, we've got our chairs, some beers. Um, we've come down to see the sound checks and stuff. Lots of people just setting up a little camp and watching the uh, bands uh, do their sound checks and stuff. They sound pretty good actually. There's two stoners. And there's a few in front of us. Michelle's just deciding where we're gonna put our chairs. Are we now, Michelle? Sound check! And who's playing? I've got no idea! But is it good? Oh. And we've got the famous Indy again. She's a dancer, <laughs> a nurse, and maybe other talents that we're unaware of currently, but we will find out. <laughs> And you know why Indy is such a legend? Because this is her mother. This is Juliet. And she's a singer, a dancer, and she was once a member of Aqua. This is the big screen for all us oldies that can't 
friggin' sea all the way to the stage. chilly. It's chillier when you don't have hot water. Hot water. Yeah, that's always a good thing to take. Had to have a cold shower this take morning. Take plenty of hot water with you, particularly if your hot water system doesn't work. It's only not working because I think the wind's blowing it out, so that's the only reason. But mm, just... So I've actually had a little repair hack for that over here. Um, it's going underneath. That's yeah, see, this is the repair for the, uh, well, the anti-wind device, I call it. What's going on? Hot water! <laughs> <laughs> Um, about 7.30 and it's bloody freezing and it's time for the, uh, the toilet walk uh, morning and um, oh I just hope our hot water starts because we didn't start yesterday and it was bloody freezing anyway I'm in the uh, Jimmy Barnes Boulevard just uh, waiting to um, you know do the business here literally bye for now I decided to walk up Big Red right at the time Mick Thomas took stage and um, I really wanted to see him but you can hear Mick Thomas from Wedding Parties Anything on stage right now and this is the back of the stage from halfway up Big Red anyway I've got to get up there so, let's go. Uh, yeah. Anyone got a defibrillator? <laughs> Where are we, Michelle? The top of Big Red. Top of Big Red. Yeah. And it was so easy getting up. You just you just run up. That is the Simpson Desert. On the top of Big Red. Big Red Dash. It's on the eastern side. And we're in the Simpson Desert technically, but you get across it. That's where it happens. Set, hold it down. All good. There you go. Thank you. Some people cheat. You can actually pay 
have somebody drive you up here instead of walking. If I'd have known that. But anyway, we're up here. Now we're going to get down. Because uh, I don't want to miss the second half of Mick Thomas's set. Well, some you might remember Mick Thomas from weddings, parties, anything. Pretty good. What are we going to get for dinner? Um, there's a few vendors here. It looks like the kebab queue is uh, way too long. So um, there's Latin, which uh, is a shorter queue. And there is Razo Boys Brazilian barbecue. Um, looks like a fairly long queue, probably about an hour. Uh, fried chicken. Looks like everybody's got hungry all at once. Um, pizza looks like the shortest queue. Looks like pizza for me. Pizza it is. So the crew decided it'd be really funny to stand in the friggin' toilets. So here we go. Toilet shot. Yeah, yeah. It's a shitty idea.
we bumped into the uh, famous Mark Rudd, another Stony Creek owner who's um, done a lot of mods to his uh, 15 and uh, one that everybody's been interested in is the hydraulic lift. So tell us just a little bit about the hydraulic stabiliser leaks that you put in. Basically what it's mainly for is uh, I pull my tyres off every time uh, I go and store it. So just to lift it up and down, it makes it so much easier. Uh, I pulled out just the normal stabilisers and put the hydraulics in. Uh, it's able to lift it right off the ground and then I, I remove the tyres. And so if you got a flat tyre on the way, you yep. can just uh, put the um, put hydraulics the, yep, down, lift it up, yeah, whichever side, change the tyre. You've got to do two at a time. Uh, so whichever side I've got to raise, just lift it up. I'll probably have to block it to lift it completely off the ground. So I imagine it's a uh, fairly pricey installation. It's about five grand. Uh, I installed it myself, so yeah, it's five grand just on its own. And what sort of uh, power does it uh, does it pull when you're using it? It does draw a fair bit of power. You've got to have like an eight eight and a wide running directly to your batteries. Yeah. And then uh, how many? Uh, what sort of batteries have you got? You got lithium? Or? I've, I've now got lithium because uh, we've had ours since February. Uh, last year, uh, out of the standard batteries, I only got 13 months out of it. Gary that's travelling with us, he's another 15 owner and he only got 13 out of it. Yeah, uh, we, we did the same, about 13 months and the uh, AGMs were dead, so we put it. 300 uh, amp hours of lithium. You got it roughly the same? No, we we just went with two 100s. Uh, we can put another 100 in beside it if we want. I wanted to go 120s, but you couldn't buy them at the time. Yeah. Uh, the only issue we had was we had to change the charger as well because it, it was wasn't uh, compatible with lithium, but uh, well, we've had no problems whatsoever with power once we've installed those. And so uh, getting to out here to Birdsville, just uh, a few rock problems and uh, things knocked off and chips and things? Yeah, uh, the major problem we actually had is when we first left Brisbane, uh, I only got as, well we were at Redcliffe, I only got as far as Boondall and uh, my back uh, passengers brake on the trailer, uh, I couldn't touch the drum, it was so hot, I could smell it. Uh, I released, I noticed the handbrake was, was on. Uh, That'll do it. That'll it do wasn't it. on, it was the cable was tight. All right. I released it once there, I, I went from there out towards uh, the Logan Motorway, pulled over again, and uh, it was tight again. Uh, and Stony Creek's only just done a service on it. They come out uh, the day before we left because they were worried they put the wrong bearings in. Uh, but they come out and looked at it, thought it was all right. And then on the way through, we stopped in the Stony Creeks and they, they actually had a look all over it uh, and said, yeah, was for some reason the handbrake was coming on. Yeah, well, that's something that um, we've all found, that the service at Stony Creek has been phenomenal. You know, they're very ready to help yeah. replace things and, uh, you know, thumbs up to, uh, to Stony Creek. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Well, that, that's where they, they rang me because they knew we were coming out here. We had the service the week before. And uh, they chucked the manager in the car and he drove right out to Redcliffe uh, 7 o'clock uh, two mornings before we left and just confirm everything was right. And that was Chris? Yes, it was Chris. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Thumbs up, Chris. Yes. You're a legend. <laughs> right? Yes. How are you impressed. enjoying the bash so far? Yeah, well, we've only got here just this morning. Uh, we've spent most of our time looking for you, you lot. <laughs> but we finally found you. Not hard to find. Look at us. And we've, got, we've got a bloody cricket pitch here. And all these, uh, all these vans. Yeah, so we're, we're amazed there are quite a few uh, stony creekers uh, throughout the place. They're all in different areas. Uh, but no, it's good to see that many of them are out here. Yeah, all right. Well, thanks for being on the Wandering Huggleberries. No worries. Thanks Enjoy. It. Thank you. Wandering Huggleberry salute. All right. Sorry, fingers. <laughs> okay. Mrs. Huckleberry is about to undertake a world record. What, what is it you're doing? The Nutbush World Record. The Nutbush World Record yeah. with how many people? I have no idea. A lot. I had to do a sneaky wee first because I'm going to be doing a lot of jumping. Yeah? <laughs> and so do you think it's going to be dusty or what? Yep, I've got this. Yeah? Alright. So um, we're about to see a world record attempt at uh, the 2022 Big Red Bash Nutbush City Limit Challenge. Yep. A lot of people want to do the nut push. Twenty four hours later. Wow.
Later. 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 So, where are we, Michelle? We're at the drag race. The drag race? Yep. What's involved with the drag race? Well, me and Mike have put on a few props and videos, I assume. We did have some lifeguards go through and there might be some of It's got to be cold. A bit of shrinky chuck in there, I think so. Five. Come on, four. Oh, what's going on? Here we go. Two, one. Right, they've uh, started at the top of the hill and they're going to run down and finish right here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bit of a false start there. They're still not running. <laughs> I left my frock at home. <laughs> oh, 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 there's been a crash. There's been a crash. A little later. Let's see if we can do a little radio gaga together. <laughs> of barricades and brick walls this year. So I am going to play a few songs from that one tonight, but we'll play a bit of everything. I'm going to go all the way back to the Captain album for you here. I'd like to talk to you, stone but on Picasso, I'm inverted. In. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, we'll just invert. Oh. Hello, oh. we're, we're inverted. I'm inverted. with uh, Maverick and Goose. I, I and Goose. 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 Goose is dead. Oh, Goose is dead. Sorry. Been with ice. Can't speak. Yeah. There you go. Wandering huckleberries. There we go. fun and games are uh, song and dance and uh, heavy drinking is over here at uh, Birdsville. We're hitting the road aren't we? Yep, trying to blow some of this dust off. Yeah, let's, lots of dust. So um, our crew is just about ready. I'll do a little pirouette for you so you can see. We're all packed up and uh, we're about to hit the road back to where are we going? Back to the commons. Back to the commons at Birdsville. With every other man and his dog. But yeah. if you they're going to the pig and camel races, I think, which we're not. So. Yeah, uh, Baduri pig and camel races start tomorrow. Um, we're going to bypass that and um, maybe go up to Long Reach and the Dinosaur Trail. We'll see. Okay, so we've left um, Birdsville. And, and the dust. Well, <laughs> the big red bash at Birdsville. 
Uh, we haven't actually got back to Birdsville yet. It's 35 kilometre drive. And um, there's a lot of vans that are going to be camped up there at uh, Birdsville tonight. So the pub is going to be busy. And um, the bakery will be busy. Yeah. Where are we going to camp? Uh, we're standing in the Commons. The Commons again? Again, yeah, because um, yeah, we're standing in the Commons because that's where the few of the group are staying. But uh, the bash was fantastic and it took about 40 minutes to get out, which wasn't too bad. It felt like we wasn't moving for a while, but we uh, managed to get out within 40 minutes, which was pretty good. Yeah, but we're carrying about six um, tonne of dust. <laughs> covered in dust. Anyway, um, I reckon we should go straight to the caravan park where we can uh, use the washing machines and uh, you know, all of that. But we're with a group so we better do what they're doing. Well, as we expected, it's a slow crawl into um, Birdsville, into town, because uh, everyone's doing the same thing, dumping their toilets, taking their rubbish to the tip and queued up for fuel. In fact, one of the uh, stations has already run out of diesel. And, the, and one of the dump points is full too. Yes. So we're camping just outside Birdsville tonight. And hopefully um, there's a tanker overnight that uh, we can um, top up. Yes, slow old drive into town. But I have to say, the weather at Birdsville for our whole trip was absolutely spectacular. Bit cold. Bit cold. It wasn't too bad. The sunrises and the sunsets were stunning. Bit dusty. Bit dusty, yeah. In, my, yeah. in, in two kinds of ways. Yeah. <laughs> ben had too much to drink last night. Yeah, not too much. Just a bit dusty in them some mornings. Yeah. Michelle was so hungry, she forgot she was married and had a husband because she jumped out of the car and she's run off to the bakery. Um, the Birdsville Bakery, of course. Famous one where you have camel pies. And there's a queue here too, but we're used, we're used to queues. So Michelle, what happened? No pies. Sold out. No camel oh. pies, no regular pies. Nothing. No, nothing, nothing. That's the second time we've tried to get a pie there and still nothing. So they have it at 7 for everyone. If you want a pie, get in early. Yeah, they close at 2. Anyhow. Vegemite sandwiches. <laughs> all right, all packed up at uh, Birdsville West Commons. Still a few people here. And all right. Plenty of people going to the camel and pig races at Baduri today. Uh, half of our crew already left to do that. Um, we're going to uh, skip the camel and pig races and go straight through to Bullia. Otherwise, there'll be uh, very few camping spots and we want to get to Caravan Park and do some washing and all that sort of stuff. Um, we've only stayed in one Caravan Park so far um, and that's where we did our first lot of washing. So we'll do that and we'll wait for them to catch up. So right now, because we missed out on pies at the uh, the bakery yesterday, um, we're going to uh, hit the Birdsville Bakery, and um, Mrs. Huckleberry uh, is very desperate to get a pie. So there, there she is in the background having a chat to one of our crew that uh, is heading through to Middleton Pub today, and uh, that'll be our next stop. So you might catch up with them there. Anyway, hit the road. Morning, Huckleberries. We went back.